Tuesday, November 5th. I'm Paul Joseph Watson. This is InfoWars Nightly News. Tonight. A shadowy subculture which may have encouraged a disturbed young man. No kidding. Who else wants a job groping men, women, and children all day? ABC News implicates Alex Jones in the LAX shooting. And DHS hires a top secret security force. That's next on the InfoWars Nightly News. This is pure torture! Watching that con man slime bag, bag of pus, suck everybody dry. Top story tonight, DHS to hire top secret domestic security force. The Department of Homeland Security is to spend $19 million on a private security force in Wisconsin and Minnesota, an armed unit that must have a top secret security clearance according to an official solicitation. Now, we've reported numerous times on DHS hiring armed guards to protect government buildings in preparation for potential domestic unrest and food riots. But this one has a new twist because the highly unusual top secret clearance suggests that the DHS is not merely seeking to hire armed guards, but Blackwater style mercenaries who will be engaged in some kind of clandestine activity normally reserved for foreign spying or military operations. So what are they preparing for? Well, the DHS itself admitted back that they were buying equipment to prepare for, quote, riot control situations and followed it up with the purchase of pepper spray launching guns and 120,000 live pepper spray projectiles. Moving on, ABC News implicates Alex Jones in LAX shooting. ABC News implied that Alex Jones was responsible for motivating the LAX shooter during a report introduced by Diane Sawyer, which linked criticism of big government with violence. Investigators are studying a shadowy subculture which may have encouraged a disturbed young man. The TSA has a thankless job enforcing procedures we all tolerate through gritted teeth. A popular target. No kidding. Who else wants a job groping men, women, and children all day? Among some anti-government activists, the agency embodies a federal government that's too invasive, corrupt, and incompetent. So they basically insinuate that not only Alex Jones, but also anyone who stands up for liberty is an inspiration for violent extremists. Let's not mention the fact that Mainstream media is by far the biggest promoter of violence as a result of its tacit support for wars, which have killed millions of people down through the decades, with Obama himself recently bragging to his aides, quote, I'm really good at killing people, but they're not responsible for promoting violence. We are by our consistent message of peaceful resistance, which we broadcast every single day. So as John Rappaport notes, this is like blaming the murder of John Lennon on J.D. Salinger because Mark Chapman read Catcher in the Rye before gunning down the Beatles singer. It completely makes no sense whatsoever. However, I mean, this tactic doesn't really work anymore. The fundamental message of individual liberty will continue to resonate far stronger than any number of dubious lone nut incidents exploited by the establishment to frame their political adversaries. Moving on, related story, arming TSA officers hits resistance on the Hill, reports Politico. And again, precisely as I predicted in an article written hours after the LAX shooting on Friday, union leaders are now urging that TSA employees be given guns, handcuffs, and the power to make arrests. This is a federal agency that has become notorious for hiring criminals through faulty background checks, who then go on to commit criminal behavior. We've seen it many times before. And now they want to give them guns and powers of arrest. We've already seen TSA agents abusing their power to sexually harass women both on and off the job. Imagine the new level of authoritarian hell that this would open up. And don't forget that the TSA has never stopped a terrorist attack primarily, of course, because the terror threat is massively exaggerated in order to justify big government expenditure. In reality, as academic studies show, Americans are more likely to be killed by bee stings or drowning in a bath than they are by terrorists. Moving on, 
FEMA camp city to exile the homeless. It's not a conspiracy theory anymore, reports Brandon Walker of FreePatriot.org. Under the radar from the prying eyes of the public, South Carolina made it legal to get rid of their homeless problem. These people were given a choice. FEMA camps or jail. That's right, those FEMA camps that the mainstream media says don't exist. So homeless people were housed in 240-bed razor-wire-topped FEMA emergency facilities on the edge of town and told that they could only be shuttled out of the camp if they applied to leave. This was before a big presentation that was coming to the town. They wanted to get the homeless people out of the way. Similar camps are also to be found in Galeston, Houston, New York, Boston, and New Orleans. So again, first they came for the homeless. In times of national emergency, are potentially dangerous political dissidents going to be treated the same way? Are they going to be given the same choice, jail or FEMA camp? This article also documents how similar policies of criminalizing the homeless are beginning to be introduced in Sacramento, Miami, and Southern California. So again, getting people used to the idea of taking the disenfranchised away to the camps. It's already happening. Next up, Steve Watson reports police force man to undergo numerous enemas, anal exams, and x-rays. And this is one of those stories that's so horrific, that's so bizarre and ludicrous, that you have to really thoroughly check that it's not fake. And unfortunately, it's not fake. Following an innocuous traffic stop, police in southern New Mexico put David Eckert through an ordeal consisting of cavity searches, enemas, and even x-rays after he appeared to be clenching his buttocks while stepping out of his vehicle. And again, I can't communicate the true ludicrousness of this story. You have to go and read it in full for yourselves. But they basically subjected this guy, police ordered doctors to do so, and they did so with glee. Anal cavity searches, enemas, colonoscopies, because they suspected he was hiding drugs. No drugs were found, of course. The guy never gave his consent for any of this. He was complaining furiously as the doctors forcibly on the orders of police gave him eight, yes, eight anal probes. And then the hospital had the gun, the victim for those same procedures. This is a quote from Eckert's lawyer. Quote, this is like something out of a science fiction film. And it's even worse than that, as I say. Anal probing by government officials and public employees. That's what his attorney said noting that the ordeal lasted over 14 hours with some of the procedures being carried out after the dubious warrant expired. They didn't have any kind of legal setup to get this justified. How can you authorize a warrant to search inside somebody's body? It's completely ridiculous. Yesterday, of course, we had the story of police tasering a man for trying to save his three-year-old son from a house fire. And again, we asked the question, what is wrong with police officers in America? eight anal probes for the suspicion of hiding drugs. It's completely beyond even what would be written in a science fiction novel. You know, even Winston Smith wasn't subjected to anal probes. This is ridiculous. But again, read the whole article. It's, it's probably the most insane story of police brutality that I've ever seen, and I've seen a lot of them. That's it for the news, but stick around after the break. We've got more special reports coming up on InfoWars Nightly News. Alex Jones here to warn you about some of the most important health information you may ever hear. I'm talking about radiation, radioactive fallout, radioactive particles contaminating the Northern Hemisphere. Conservatively, since the 1940s, the Northern Hemisphere of our planet has more than doubled its background radiation. In fact, that was before Fukushima exploded. Now the levels are going up and up and up. Fish are contaminated in the Pacific, and the FDA, the EPA, and others, they're not worried about it. They've been raising the levels of what they claim is safe radioactive particles. So after more than two years of research into how to protect my family, 
looking at all the literature, talking to the experts, across the board they agreed, iodine is key, but of the family of iodine, nascent, natural, non-GMO, non-factory iodine that comes from the earth is absolutely paramount for your thyroid and other functions in the body. The literature, the research, it's there. It's not my opinion. It is admitted that iodine is essential for the health of our bodies overall, and nascent iodine is the best form. Now, we're announcing the launch of InfoWarsLife.com, and we're going to bring you scores of products over the next few years that we're researching and developing. But nascent iodine is the first product we're coming out with because it's so important, and it's also listed as a fluoride detoxer. It does so many other things. Your body needs it, and when you don't have enough iodine, forget the radiation, your thyroid absorbs the sodium fluoride and other things. Nascent iodine and InfoWars Life Survival Shield in double strength at half the cost of the leading competitors. Please visit InfoWarsLife.com today. Now, dissenting opinion is the biggest challenge facing the current administration which has gone out of their way to suppress it. Here's Leanne McAdoo with a special report. Freedom of speech is a cardinal rule in a free society. So why has there been so much suppression of dissent from the administration who's promised to be the most transparent? MyCancellation.com is a new Tumblr giving a face to the millions whose insurance has been canceled due to Obamacare. Twitter has repeatedly suspended the at my cancellation account since its inception November 1st, saying it has been flagged for spam. A graphic artist was ordered by the NSA to cease and desist printing his parody t-shirts that were critical of the NSA's unconstitutional spying. Now Dan McCall is suing the spy agency for violating his First Amendment rights, saying he doesn't want his kids to grow up in a country where you can't humor your own government. Well, one place humor is not appreciated is at the airport. You are also reminded that any inappropriate remarks or jokes concerning security may result in your arrest. We appreciate your cooperation while these measures are in effect. And it's not just civilians that are being threatened for criticizing Obama. Insurers are being pressured from the White House to keep quiet about the Affordable Care Act fiasco. The source is telling us they feared White House retribution. Across the spectrum, those who are critical of the current administration are being labeled as racist or anti-government domestic terrorists. Apparently, the cops found anti-government material on the alleged LAX shooter that appeared to reference the New World Order. For people perhaps not familiar, New World Order is generally accepted to be a conspiracy theory where people believe that there are elites out there forming some sort of special author authoritarian government. So the New World Order is a conspiracy theory. Conspiracy theorists are evil and anti-government. Hmm, maybe that means we should start by purging these thought criminals. When we are successful, and we will be, we have a real chance at this new world order, an order in which a credible United Nations can use its peacekeeping role to fulfill the promise and vision of the UN's founders. This phrase that I often use myself, that we needed a new world order. It's about the future of Europe and a new world order. There's a need for a new world order. The affirmative task we have now is, uh, is to actually um, uh, create uh, uh, a new world order. Global economic crisis. And the president outlined his vision of a new world order in which the U.S. would participate fully. We've got to give them a stake in creating the kind of uh, uh, world order that I think all of us would like to see. Is this global governance at last? Is it one world, the central bankers in charge? We are absolutely slaves to central banks. So there you go, folks. The power structure is shooting blanks. In order for their tyrannical government to succeed, good men must stand by in silence. That's why it's essential now more than ever for us to exercise our First Amendment right or lose it forever to tyrants. Reporting for the InfoWars Nightly News, I'm Leanne McAdoo. Jackie Mason made headlines this past weekend with his vehement criticism of Obama. And he appeared on the Alex Jones Show today. Let's take a look. Jackie Mason joins us. He made headlines when he called Obama a lying maniac. And 
You know what, uh, Mr. Mason, how dare you say that? How dare you say that Obama lied to us and said that nobody would be kicked off of the uh, kicked off of uh, their insurance? Obama says he never said that, sir. Well, what's happening is that this man turned out to be the greatest liar of all time, but he's been doing it since he became president. Everybody chose not to notice it because everybody felt the moral obligation to prove to themselves that uh, that they're accepting him, that they're that they're enjoying him, that they that they fear him, that they they paying tribute to him like he was some kind of he has some kind of a connection with godliness or holiness, and it's a it's a somehow tasteless and obnoxious and disgusting to somehow recognize him for what he is a plain out not liar who has no conscience about saying whatever he pleases, no matter who he writes, no matter what kind of fraud is involved. Now everybody is watching him very carefully. Now everybody is really frightened. Now they saw it right to their face how they could be wiped out and just literally destroyed by him. So now they're ready for him. And now as soon as he makes a crooked move, the whole country, even as some of the zealots on his side, are beginning to crack and for the first time beginning to notice that they better protect themselves. Stick around after the break when Jukari Jackson talks to Bunny Hunter about women and firearms. Stay tuned. We're on the march, the Empire's on the run, and the InfoWars Army is standing strong. Wake up your family, friends, and neighbors and break the matrix at InfoWarsStore.com. Learn the truth and spread the message of liberty with the world's most comprehensive collection of books and documentary films. Maintain a healthy metabolism and energize your body to perform at peak health with Survival Shield Nascent Iodine. Protect your family and be prepared with survival foods and emergency preparedness kits. And now you can drink safe water with your own ProPure water filtration system, which removes fluoride and other harmful chemicals from your family's water supply. Save 10% with the promo code WATER. So join the revolution, InfoWarsStore.com. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. And welcome back. Our guest tonight is Bunny Hunter. She's a Second Amendment advocate and also a YouTube personality. She joins us tonight to talk about women using firearms. Thanks for joining us, Bunny. Thanks for having me. Okay, so tell us what made you want to start your own YouTube channel and also what got you interested in guns in the first place? Well, I grew up in a military family, so guns were always around and a big part of our lives. Um, in regards to the YouTube channel, I guess just noticing everybody's uh, priorities are a little out of whack these days and was interested in making guns cool again. Yeah, there's a lot of talk about that, you know, not just making guns cool, but also socially acceptable. Because we see a lot of groups here, even in the state of Texas, we have uh, anti-gunners, various people who don't want you to have Second Amendment rights and say they don't want to take your guns, but they don't want you to have things such as assault rifles. Let me ask you that. As a woman, uh, what's your perspective on things such as uh, the so-called military-style rifles? 
Well, I, I think the problem is definitely with the type of people that are in this world. It's not anything to do with guns. No normal person would go out and do the heinous things that are happening that we see on the news with the so-called assault rifles. That takes a mentally ill person. Mm -hmm. So that has nothing to do with owning or ownership of guns. Right, right. So what would you say to any of the naysayers, especially the women? Uh, as far as self-defense reasons, do you rely on a, a firearm for your self-defense? Absolutely. So what would you I say to that. those? Those who no. may say that you don't need a gun. Uh, uh, let's say, well, what, let me, if I can ask you, what type of gun do you carry for self-defense if you are a carrier? Yes, I am. I have a 45 subcompact Colt Knight Defender. How many rounds does that hold? Eight plus one. Eight plus one. So uh, let's say in the state of New York, they don't want you to have that. So what would you say to people say you don't need eight rounds in your pistol plus one? Well, it's just not the case. I mean, the law-abiding citizens are the ones that need to be armed because always criminals are going to have guns regardless of what the laws are. So I guess my motto is better to have it not need it than need it not have it. Exactly, and that type of age-old wisdom seems to be lost these days. But I don't spend all the time on that. You also have other things on your YouTube channel that you want to raise awareness of things such as uh, sports shooting. Yeah, and just in general, anything outdoors, it just seems to be a lost pastime. And that's really sad. Yeah, so what type of activities do you like to participate in? Oh, everything outdoors, hunting, camping, fishing, bushcraft, just uh, campfire cooking is a, a big deal for me because I have a huge family. So I was always the one cooking for <laughs> the various brothers and everybody. Yes, yeah, so I've seen some of your YouTube videos, and I think in one of the episodes I saw you were actually hog hunting. Yep. <laughs> so people see you and, and they'll say, you know, here's a, a lady who doesn't look traditional because you think about uh, the girls in the camo and, and all this other stuff, but you seem like a very uh, well-dressed, a well-put-together young lady, if you don't mind me saying. And this isn't the typical view, so what would you want to say to people who think that it's a very stereotypical, it's kind of the backwoods, country girls who are only into this? Right. Well, that is definitely the stereotype. And, of course, that was another reason for me wanting to get out there. People are always surprised when they see me, you know, the, they go with the Barbie doll thing and, and they have no idea the type of interest that I have. So it's okay to still look pretty and you know, shower and all that good stuff and, and get out there and roll around in the mud. Yeah, yeah, just uh, make sure you shower off after you get out the mud. That's, right, right. <laughs> that's great. Okay, Bunny, so why don't you tell us your favorite type of firearm? Well, it would definitely be my AR-15. It's just there's so many purposes that you can use it hunting, and it's, a, it's kind of an extension of my body. I feel definitely more comfortable with rifles than I do with handguns. And we hear a lot of talk about the AR-15, you know, it's the gun that's often demonized along with the AK-47 when we have these mass shootings and so forth. So you, uh, tell us, Bunny, why you love this gun so much. Well, it's, it's so versatile and it has, you know, it's, there's no recoil, barely at all, and it's just, it's a, it's a fine weapon system. So we hear Joe Biden saying, you know, if you want a gun, go buy a shotgun. If, how, how well do you carry a shotgun? Well, shotguns, the thing is with women especially, I mean, they have a very powerful recoil. It's painful. Yeah, have it'll you seen leave that, a bruise on your shoulder. Can I ask you, Bunny, have you seen that montage? Somebody made a montage on YouTube of women shooting shotguns, and they didn't seem to fare too well with the recoil. <laughs> I haven't seen that, but I've seen things in, in regards to that. Women shooting guns, and they just kind of blows them backwards. Exactly. Now, Bunny, recently here... Uh, in the state of Texas down at the Alamo a few weeks ago. I, myself, Alex, and several others went down there and we had the first ever rally at the Alamo. Uh, and lo and behold, we we're out there promoting firearms use. Do you think that's something good and something we need to see more of in other states? Oh, of course. I mean, we there's way too many of the liberal type attitude where guns are bad and they're scary. So it definitely needs to be uh, pushed on people that it, with knowledge and firearm safety, they're not something to be afraid of or feared. Right, right. And how should we go about that, Bunny? Well, I, I saw actually on YouTube a young girl, I think she was 18, she was in a uh, competition shooting 
club and she went on and, and addressed the court and told them what guns mean to her and you know it's just it's a nice perspective especially from a woman and it doesn't hurt to be a good looking woman and to be saying these things so I feel that we need to get more girls on this act you know just to get that whole thing going with women speaking out about it great so what's coming up next for you and your YouTube channel well I'm doing a lot of uh, hunting stuff coming up because it is hunting season. Yay, I'm so excited. <laughs> That's my favorite part of the year. Great. And what do, you guys, what do you guys hunt down there? Oh, man, there's Osceola turkey, deer. Um, we have white-tailed deer. We have rabbit. There's tons of hogs. The hogs are actually a nuisance. I'm sure you're familiar with that over in Texas. Yes, actually, they have uh, the bounty. I think they just raised the bounty on a hog. I think it's was uh, about fifty dollars a hog now because we have such a problem with them. People actually hunt hogs from helicopters because they'll run you over down here. Yeah, I actually got an invite to go out and do that helicopter hog hunting, so that could be something we could look for in the future there with Bunny Hunter. Yes, if you do that, send us a link. We definitely like to check that out. And Bunny, you also have a another site that's under construction currently. Yes, I'm setting up uh, BunnyHunterUSA.com, and I plan on. Uh, teaming up with a few optics companies and different knife manufacturers. So I'll, I'll start to sell stuff like that and bug out bags and just, you know, getting into a couple different things and seeing where I can take this. Awesome. I noticed you mentioned the bug out bags there, so you're also into preparedness? Yes, sir. So, you know, you hear these, uh, the crazy prepper types, you know, they try to demonize you if you have a, a survival bag or a life straw, or, you know, other various elements uh, just for your own personal protection. And if, if the grid goes down, not if, but when, because you can have uh, just recently in the city of Austin, we had floods come through and many people were unprepared. People have hurricanes, tornadoes, natural disasters. But you say the best thing to do is to be prepared. Absolutely. And, you know, the government and social media likes to portray those people as crazy or off. But I like to be called awake and, you know, the, it's not paranoia, it's just being prepared and chance favors the prepared mind. Exactly, exactly. So, Bunny, tell us how we can keep up with you. Well, my YouTube channel and once I get the construction all finished on my dot com, then I'll have a lot of other venues. I'm also starting up Facebook and Twitter as well. So. All right, we'll definitely try to keep up with you. Maybe have you back on the show when you get your sights up and running. Yes, I'd love that. Thank you. All right, Bunny Hunter, thank you for your time. Appreciate it. So I encourage all of our ladies to stop by the InfoWars shop and pick up the ladies. Come and take a T-shirt. Well, that's all the time we have for the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm your host, Jakari Jackson, and we'll see you again tomorrow night. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at InfoWars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at InfoWars.com slash show.